Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. All right, Jeff, thankfully none of that here, but we yeah. still had some rain pretty much this whole weekend. We did, like. made for a sloppy situation, of course, for the South Star Festival, obviously, <laughs> yeah. uh, and really made it more of an indoor type of weekend with the light rain, the mist, the drizzle, and the occasional showers. We're kind of at the tail end, of, though, of the rain chances, and they are going to be trailing off as we take you through the next couple days. Still a few spotty showers through tomorrow, and I do expect there'll be some mist and drizzle for some of you first thing tomorrow morning. That rain chance, though, by Monday, Monday afternoon is down to 20%. By Tuesday, it's down to 10%. And after that, midweek and through the late week, we're not expecting any rain at this point in time. We're also going to start to warm things back up. We did return to the 70s today after being stuck in the 60s in most spots yesterday. Uh, by tomorrow, around the 80 degree mark, that's still a little cooler than our average this time of year, which is still in the low 80s. But we'll get closer to that number Tuesday into Wednesday, and looks like we'll be even above it by the end of this week. By no means will it be hot, but we will certainly see some warmer conditions setting in as we head into the beginning of the month of October. Way 31 triple. Doppler right now. Most of what you see here is not actual precip. It's ground clutter having to do with uh, kind of the composition of the atmosphere right now with the moisture. Again, we do still have a few showers lingering parts of Marshall, Etowah, DeKalb County, and otherwise just some mist and some drizzle in some spots, which will continue overnight tonight. Now, all this being generated by an area low pressure, and you can kind of pick it out. If you notice the showers in Georgia moving from southwest to northeast, the rain here in the Ohio River Valley moving uh, from east back to the west. Counterclockwise rotation, that's what low pressure does here in the northern hemisphere. And this is parked just north of us. It's been hanging around really since Helene came through, and so that's why the rain activity lingers. But over the next couple days, this is going to weaken and start to lift off to the north and east, and that is going to take our rain chances with it here in north Alabama and southern middle Tennessee. To see. Future radar overnight tonight showing a lot of cloud cover. Again, there'll be some fog out there, and within that, some Mr. Drizzle will be possible. We do kind of scatter out the cloud cover a bit heading into your Monday afternoon, but still the possibility with that area low pressure in the region that we could spark off an isolated shower tomorrow afternoon. We head into Tuesday. Once again, some clouds, some fog waking up, and then Tuesday afternoon, again, maybe a stray shower, but I think that'll be the last that we will see out of this latest weather as it continues to pull away from us throughout the work week. Update on the tropics, of course, following Helene. There is still activity out here. A couple named systems. Isaac, a tropical storm in the North Atlantic. Joyce was a tropical storm, but it is kind of fizzling out. Now just a tropical depression. We do have newly formed tropical depression number 12 back off to the south and east of Joyce, but it is way out here in the eastern Atlantic. But this likely will become a significant system in the coming days. Hurricane forecasts uh, is by Tuesday. And National Hurricane Center says this could end up being a major hurricane. But look at the track here. Middle of the Atlantic Ocean, this is not going to uh, be any sort of impact to land areas and certainly does not look like it is headed towards the U.S. What we are going to be watching, the Caribbean, broad area of disorganized low pressure there. But as this tracks to the north and to the west, we may later next week find ourselves with another tropical system in the Gulf that we'll be keeping an eye on. Next couple names on the list, Kirk and Leslie, and we are certainly by no means not done with tropical weather this season yet. Off to school in the morning again, some fog, some mist, 62 at the bus stop. Kids, when they get home, maybe a shower or two. Those temperatures again back upper 70s to around 80. Any rain you can keep up with on the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. Again, we'll quickly climb out of the 60s into the 70s tomorrow morning and likely get very close to that 80 degree mark with some peaks of sunshine perhaps tomorrow afternoon. You can see most of us somewhere uh, one side or the other of 80 for your Monday. As the work week wears on here, checking out your 10 day forecast, it's going to get a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer. Temperatures into the low to mid 80s, second half of the week with dry weather on the way. And right now we're optimistic that we may keep that dry forecast going into the coming weekend. Certainly Saturday, I think is a pretty good bet for dry weather. And even though we've got those low rain chances Sunday, Monday right now, I'm not seeing anything that's too concerning about rain during that time frame. So we need a chance to dry out. I think a lot of us would like to see some sun again. It's been a few days since we've really had much of a peak of that, and we do have some uh, better days ahead coming this work week. Sounds good to me. Yep. Thank you so much, Jeff. Uh -huh.